Hello and welcome to this session of NetSuite Create Amortization Journal Entry. I will show you how to create an amortization journal entry in NetSuite and we will go through the GL account setup so that you're able to do it within NetSuite and we'll walk you through step by step creating that amortization entry, including the schedule, the start date, end date, and how the prepaid balances get created, finding your journal entry, and approving the amortization. So to start, log into NetSuite, go to List, Accounting, Accounts, and it will open up the chart of accounts for you. The first step in creating an amortization journal entry is to make sure that the GL account has a child account or sub accounts attached to it. For example, we will be amortizing an insurance expense. So look for insurance expense and click edit. In insurance expense, the important account will be the deferral account. Under deferral account, we have number 1300 prepaid expenses. So the GL account 1300 has to be populated in order for this expense to be recognized or in order to create the amortization journal entry. So once that's been set up, we're ready to create our journal entry. To start, we now go to transactions, financial, make journal entry and open it in a new tab. This is what a blank journal entry form looks like. So we're going to choose the subsidiary that you want to create this journal entry for. We're using sub one in this example. And in the memo field, we're going to put the description create an amortization journal entry. Next, we have to select the GL account type. So in the Accounts field, choose Expense as part of that drop-down menu. And we're then going to select Insurance Expense as the next one. And you'll notice that the account is 6100. So you'll click it. For our example, we're going to fill out the debit amount, which is 12,000, and the memo is create an amortization JE. That description carried over for when the first tab. For an amortization journal entry, there are three important fields needed. That is the schedule, the start date, and the end date. So click on schedule, and there is an annual prepaid insurance schedule already. Now, in order to use the schedule, we actually first have to set it up first. So that was one of the, the setup or configurations, is you can set certain things up to uh, amortize over three months, over six months. In our case, annual means over 12 months. And now we look at the start date. We've inputted March 1st, 2016. And the end of next year, because it's 12 months, it's going to be February 2007. So for this example, we're going to be using Accounts Payable as the credit account. So you're going to click Accounts Payable, and you're going to select Accounts Payable. Now, one thing to know is that the account 6100 for insurance expense will change to become a prepaid expense. So it's now a balance sheet account. As soon as you click save, your journal entry won't show insurance expense anymore. It's actually going to uh, anymore because it's now converted it to a prepaid expense and it will then take this expense over time, over the 12 months, which is what we wanted. So then you're going to fill out the credit amount of 12,000 and the memo field is the same as before, and then we click Add. Now you'll see your prepaid expenses. The account 6100 insurance expense has now changed to account 1300 prepaid expense. 
And the reason is that in the first part of this, in our chart of accounts, we set up the deferral account for expenses to be prepaid expenses. That's why that first step was very important to make sure in our chart of accounts, we've set up the right balance sheet account when we are creating or um, creating the prepaid balances. So now, how do we find our amortization journal entries? You're going to go to Transactions, Financial, Create Amortization Journal Entry. And you'll then see a list of our amortization schedules. In this example, we've chosen sub Subsidiary 1. Uh, so these are just the different filters so to show us and find what journal entries you want to amortize. You'll notice there's a box called All, and you want to select All in order to amortize all of the journal entries and approve it. Or if you unmark All, uh, you can then delete it. Note that you can check each of the amortization journal entries, each of the 12 journal entries separately, because remember it's 12,000 for the year, so each month there is one journal entry for $1,000. If you don't want to select, if you don't want to select them um, individually, you can uncheck the, the box and it will amortize all of the journal entries at once. And you can actually drill into the individual journal entries to make sure that it's amortizing the way you expect. And so you can click into here and you can see, you click the individual schedules, you can select the journal entry created and click into it. And now you'll see the journal entry that was automatically processed. Uh, in this case, it's entry 10066 and you can click in it and you can see now that the amount that we've amortized is a thousand dollars which is what we wanted and you can now see again check the expense where the uh, expense is going to an insurance expense and the prepaid expense where it's being taken out of is account 1300 and that's it that's how we create the journal entry for amortizing monthly or quarterly or annual expenses. I hope this is helpful and we'll talk to you in the next session.